Welcome back to Tennis Journey. We have three tips for your toss so you can head into the summer with a successful toss. Comment below which one you like best. All right guys, the first piece of advice we have for you to toss like a boss this summer is the height of the toss, okay? Now generally, for a bare minimum, we wanna to toss high enough so that we can fully extend and get that ball towards the apex of the toss. And now that would be a little bit higher if you do jump on your serve. But there is a variability in how high you wanna to toss depending on conditions and how well you're feeling your serve. So if I'm feeling good, I, I tend to go for a little bit higher toss. Um, that way I can potentially get more power with the velocity of the gravity coming down on the ball. Um, if I am outside, generally tend to toss a little bit lower, especially if it's windy outside, just because there's a lot more that can go wrong with that high uh, ball height. Same thing if my serve's feeling off indoors, I tend to toss a little bit lower just so I can get my rhythm back a little bit less that can go wrong. All right, so the second tip for the toss is making sure that we are not holding the ball in the palm of our hand, but we're holding it more in the uh, finger basket, right? You create a basket with your fingers, right? And you're not, you're not squeezing it, we're not holding it so that if we're, it's upside down that it doesn't fall, right? If I were to, when I, when I toss the ball, if I were to turn my hand upside down, it would fall, okay? So I make sure that I'm lightly holding it in my finger basket, call that a finger basket, right? And what I do is I just lift the ball and let it rise out of my hands instead of releasing it. If I trust the timing of my release, I'm generally gonna let that ball fly backwards or too far forward. So I just raise the arm and I stop my arm as I get to a certain peak and then let the ball rise out of my hand, making sure my wrist is fully extended. So just give you an example of this. All right guys, so the third piece of advice that we have for you is to use your toss to dictate uh, where the ball's gonna go, okay? So generally, if I'm missing deep, the first thing I do is I start to toss farther out in front because what that does is it naturally changes my racket angle to be more downwards, okay? So I know if I'm missing my first serve consistently deep, that by changing that toss to farther in front, I can immediately get it down through the court a little bit quicker, generally gonna make it into the box more often. If on the flip side, I'm missing too much into the net, it could be because I'm tossing too far out in front, I'm losing my balance, collapsing a little bit. So first, I'll focus on keeping a tall chest, but if that's not working, I'll toss a little bit closer to my body. That way my racket cha angle changes to be more upwards, thus getting the ball over the net more often.